removing it surgically, and then he was like, uh, I don't know, you're going to need a skin graft, probably. So that's if they go full thickness. So the wart only lives in the top layer of skin. So that's why we're not really needing a skin graft or anything because we're not cutting out that top layer of skin, the whole top layer of skin. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. When you remove the full thickness, then mm -hmm. there's no cells to close it up. And that's where, yes, the skin graft is needed. But I think your wart, like I said, looks a lot worse than it is because of how much is coming out because it's a pressure point. Mm -hmm. So let's just scrape down the dead skin. If it's a little sensitive, you let me know. Just like I said, we'll do a good test to know if some parts aren't completely numb. You can relax your foot as is. Okay. I want you, you, you comfortable like that? Yeah. Okay. Anything painful here? No. You're okay? Yep. Okay, awesome. So I just want to make it a little bit flatter before we get to the removal. And then we can also find out if there's any area that's not completely numb. No pain here? No. How many treatments do you think you had on this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like every two weeks for like six months. And then, I don't know, like six more after that. No pain here? No. Sensitive? No. I can't feel it. You, you don't really feel too much? No. Now, I know we talked about doing the microwave treatment, but because of how much you've had this treated, the location, how much hard skin there's on top, it'd be sometimes, I think, hard for that to get in. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're here going for the big guns right away. No pain here? No. So you're just feeling pressure, correct? Yeah. So we're making it nice and flat. Or you, this alone is gonna feel so much better. Yeah, not but. having like a ball coming out of my oh. foot. Yeah. <laughs> no pain here? No. Sweet. And how, how big was it when it's the first, when you first saw it? Um, I don't know, maybe like the size of a dime. Yeah, that's a little different than it is now, huh? Yeah. Which treatment do you think really made it worse? Um, well, part of the problem was when COVID, like everything shut down, mm -hmm. I didn't see anyone for like a couple months. Yeah. And then the skin just kept like growing, I guess, the dead skin accumulating. No pain here? No. So, make it nice and flat. So it looks much better already. So we're gonna do a little test again. Anything sharp here? Mm -hmm. You feel yeah. that, right? Yeah. Okay, anything sharp here? No. Here? No. 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 Up here? No. Mm, yeah. Very sharp or just no. more pressure? Um. So you feel this? Yeah. It feels the same up here? No, it's not the same. And how about here? No. What I are you? I can't really feel it. Is it say ouch? No. 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 And here? No. Okay. Pretty good. So let me put a band-aid on it. We're gonna rearrange you so your 
uh, in a better position. So I'm gonna just wipe down the area. So what's very important to know is pressure, completely normal, pain is not. So if you feel something that's really uncomfortable, you, or that's making you feel like, usually it feels like a pinprick, okay. you let me know. Pinprick is no good. Anything sharp here? No. Awesome. So the crazy thing, it's literally just scooping ice cream off the surface. We're just gonna be lifting that wart right off, right out of that top layer of skin. And you're okay over here? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, when did you figure you needed more help with this thing? <laughs> um, when I've been doing treatment for a year and it has it gotten worse, I was like, there must be a better way. Yeah, it's it's really tough. So we're gonna just lift that wart right off. And you're okay over here? Yeah. And it's literally coming right off. Good. Yeah, I'm actually quite surprised. Thought I was gonna get my hand workout today, but. <laughs> and again, the reason it looked so much worse was just the area pressure it's a lot of pressure that goes on here, so the body was just covering it up like crazy, trying to protect itself. You okay over here? Yeah. And none, none, no one really wanted to cut it out, huh? No, like no one ever gave it to me as an option. And what were the other options they kept going to? Um, uh, silver nitrate just over and over again. Oh. And then the lasers over and over again. How many lasers did you get done? Two. And I was supposed to get the third one uh, yesterday, but before I made this appointment. And this is a foot specialist? It was a chiropodist. It was a chiropodist just like me, okay. Now, did they get to see how it looked like recently? Yeah, it was the same one I've been seeing since um, I began treatment. Like there was a gap where I stopped seeing him and I saw a podiatrist, but then I came back. The podiatrist also didn't do anything. <laughs> he just kept giving me silver nitrate. And was there any like treatment plan where they created if things weren't working, what else you could do or not really? Not really. Like I originally saw the dermatologist because the chiropodist was like, well, maybe you can see a dermatologist and like they'll have other methods. Then the two dermatologists I saw just didn't want to do a single thing. They were just like, I don't know, go home, put salicylic acid on it. Yeah, it's... And it's because it looks scary. <laughs> That's, <laughs> I, I, I can agree, um, their first instinct. But when you know that a wart only lives on the top layer of skin, it doesn't live any deeper than that. So it's just about us. Removing that top layer of skin effectively. So you're definitely saving this guy, right? <laughs> and put him in a nice jar somewhere. <laughs> it's your it's your superpower. It's your super wart. Yeah. Except you're gonna feel super strong now without it. Yeah. I'll be able to walk properly. Oh, I can't even imagine. Limping for how long now? Like six months. Oh my gosh. Or more, I guess. I don't know, it started exploding like after quarantine, after like a month of quarantine. I think he just wanted to get out. He was, he was your excuse to get out during quarantine. <laughs> he thought if he could bust out of your foot, he could uh, yeah. <laughs> bust out of quarantine. So, Amazingly, we got it in one piece. Wow. It's gonna make a really nice pendant. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, 
That is very big. So I left them there for you. Oh, okay. So the bulk of it is gone. So now the game plan is going around the edges. You hear that scraping? Yeah. We're scraping the bottom layer of the top layer of skin, if that makes sense. Yeah. And that's where the wart lives on. So you're gonna see in your video that in one section, and I'm pointing to it right now, the wart went super deep and it went a little bit past the top layer of skin. And that just means we might get a little bit of a, a scar in that area. Okay. But again, if we didn't do this aggressive treatment, I don't think you're gonna be, you were gonna get rid of this one. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna clean some of those edges off. We're gonna continue scraping it. It's really not bleeding that much. Honestly, everything's doing really well. I already got the whole thing off. So okay. it's, it went really well. Nice. So I'm using a fresh blade to get rid of the, the borders so you don't have this big ring. And what are you really feeling? Just pressure? Yeah. So we're gonna make it look flat, like you have a flat heel for once. Yeah. And it must have been really discouraging trying to treat this thing when everyone was just not yeah. giving you an answer. It was so frustrating. Like one of the dermatologists, I just, for like 10 minutes, I was just like, what, can you tell me what the options are for treating the wart? She was just like, just do salicylic acid, it's gonna take a really long time, it's gonna take like a year. Just go exfoliate your foot, put on salicylic acid. And I was like, is there anything else? And she was like, no. And I was just like, are you sure? <laughs> and it was just 10 minutes of me being like, please, tell me something else. And she was like, I don't know, we can freeze it or salicylic acid. So again, freezing or the salicylic acid or the silver nitrate. They're all just trying to damage that top layer of skin where the wart's living to hopefully damage it. But the problem is when we have very thick skin, very hard callus on top of the wart, it's almost protecting it. There's no way it's getting in there. Now, when they were doing the laser treatment or any of the treatments, were they scraping this down? Yeah. How, how far were they scraping it? I guess not that far because it was so painful. Uh, so that's another thing too. So again, if someone's treating a wart topically and you're not scraping down the wart to the point where it's pinpoint bleeding and it's very, very thin, the topical treatment will not work. So then how'd you end up here? How was that whole, how'd you lead um, your way here? <laughs> I literally looked up like surgery on a wart <laughs> and I found a video. <laughs> Uh-oh, so like, wow. uh-oh, the rabbit hole. <laughs> and then how many surgery videos did you watch on Tobro? <laughs> I just watched one, it was like kind of disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you gonna feel when you see yours? Are you gonna feel the same way? Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna be like horrified, but I still wanna see it. <laughs> that makes sense, that makes sense. It's just satisfying at the same time. Yeah, we got one really deep pocket. But everything's looking good. So we've got the bulk of it gone. So now these are those extra steps is we're gonna be applying electricity, acid, to again, create further damage. And now that there's no real top layer of skin, it should be more effective. Okay. So you're gonna feel me put a little bit of pressure on your foot. Really good. No pain? No. So we got a good two months to really get this flat, scabbed over time, but 
Now it's just healing now. Okay. Will be really amazing because it's only the top layer of skin. Usually, if we can not put pressure on it, which I know is a little bit tricky, but you have to be really good with that. In one to two weeks, the area is completely flat. Okay. So the less pressure on it, the faster this is going to heal. Okay, I'm done having fun barbecuing you. <laughs> so that's all done. Now we're going to apply an acid. And this is again just to create further damage. And we're gonna double stick it. And we'll open another pack of uh, Q-tips. Yep. So this is the same acid that we use for our ingrown toenail surgery. It's called phenol. And it basically damages or burns soft tissue membrane. So now that we got that fleshy skin, that's exactly what we're putting it on. Some people will actually put silver nitrate. So you know what you had put on? Mm -hmm. The same thing to create damage. And now that, again, there's no more thick callus protecting the ward and the majority of the majority of the wart's been physically removed, there's really nothing left to protect any small, small pieces of wart that might be left behind. And so not only did we create, cut out where the wart was, but I did create or cut out a little bit of a border around it. So we took a little bit of some healthy skin too to really make sure there's nothing left in here. Now the important part will be watching the whole healing process. We come back when the scab's ready to come off to see if there's anything left behind. Now there is sometimes regrowth even with surgery. It's not a for sure thing, but the bulk of it is gone. So when we do monitor it properly, there's very, it'll be very, very thin skin if there's something left behind and we can treat it very effectively or, and quickly with uh, laser or topical cream at that time. But at least the bulk of it's gone. Okay, okay. all done. Okay. How was that? I was good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> was it as good for you as it was for me? <laughs> yeah, it was okay. fine. <laughs> okay, that's good. So the way you're going to address this is antibiotic cream, gauze, and a band-aid or a wrap. The more padding or cushioning, the better it's going to be. Okay. Really, when the freezing wears off in around, I'd say, oh, let's get another pack. Actually, no, I got enough. When the freezing wears off in... 12 to 24 hours, it's really just gonna be sore on pressure. Okay. You take the pressure off of it, it really won't bother you. Okay. 